Right, let's get this going. I've got me little book. Because last time I used my phone to do the questions and it kept locking. Right. So you could see me at the, at the edge of the camera just sort of trying to unlock it with my finger. <laughs> right. There's an auto cue when you need it. Exactly. <laughs> see, that's the problem with the show. You know, I try and make it as professional as possible. But it never is, because <laughs> it's me on me Larry with me little camera. Right, actually I should angle that down, we all just look tiny in comparison to the Dalek boy in the back. I don't know, you'll lose his head otherwise. That's true, I'll try and frame it up nice. Right! Is he, is he facing you the right way? <laughs> Come on Colin, you you got to be a bit more professional than that, eh? Oh, he's, he's a bit camera shy maybe. I'm not too surprised. <laughs> right. Here we are. We are at the Dobson residence. I've been very kindly invited down uh, by your lovely self. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's a very lovely place. Uh, I don't know why I've been invited, though. There's nothing Doctor Who here. No, we, 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 they, we kind of play it down in the household, really. There's, there's very few links or references in the house. You yeah. I mean, it's nice. It's George. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oh, my sieve. Not my sieve. So, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people already know the lovely Dobson family, including... Hello, what's your name? Oh, are you a bit shy? Come over here. Are you a bit shy? It's a bit strange shoving this in your face. <laughs> Me lovely Megan Shirley was a bit nervous too. <laughs> but this is, of course, the lovely Rory, who's hidden himself away. <laughs> and it's very nice for you to, le to let me come and play today. Do you like playing with Colin? You can, you can eat your pan of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can, we'll, we'll come back, little man. It's okay. Don't you worry. So, first question: Where did the where did we were talking about this earlier? But where did the Dalek come from? He was one of those um, decisions on eBay quite late at night where you go, "That sounds like a good idea." Um, it was ready for our wedding. Uh, we were going to get uh, <laughs> as, 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 as you do. Um, my wife and I were getting married and we thought there should be something a, a, to sort of represent us both uh, there. My wife's not necessarily a Doctor Who fan, it's more sort of... Uh, I Who is off screen, I should mention. Yeah, just <laughs> through sort of Stockholm Syndrome, really, that she's kind of uh, uh, gone along with this. Exactly. Um, but we, we looked and we looked to hire one and we looked at the price of that and we took a deep breath and went, maybe not. Um, and then um, we saw one on eBay and we bid for it. And they're in the classroom on the giant screen in the classroom because I, I told the kids that this, this bid was coming through at about midday <laughs> and uh, I hadn't got a chance for it. And as it ticked away, I was going, oh, oh, it looks like. And then of course it did. And mm. the, the children all found this hilarious. And then we suddenly realized the logistics of getting a Dalek from where it'd been bought back to our house. Where was that? Fortunately, it was only about three miles up the road from oh, us, <laughs> which was more good luck than anything else. So I put out a shout out on Facebook to friends saying, anyone got a, a, a car with a boot roughly the size of a Dalek? And everybody just responded going, you've bought a Dalek, haven't you? Going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody already just knew. Oh yeah, I mean, it, it, this was inevitable at some point in my life, at, uh, the, 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 the tipping point <laughs> for it. Um, and so yeah, we, 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 got him, we got him back in, in pieces. Naturally, um, yeah. And then put him together. Unfortunately, we had a, a driveway down the side of the house at the time, so we could get him into the house through the big double doors. And then we built an extension, and he's entombed here now. Yeah. It's like Tomb of the Cybermen now. It's just one day he'll be uncovered. He will. He will. <laughs> oh, so there goes the Dalek costume. It's blown over in the wind. See, this is a new thing now, because this is the first one I've done outside, right. which brings whole new issues. <laughs> <laughs> so once again, the non-professional side of the show is showing off, which is great. So, next question. Why uh, why this Dalek in particular? Why this model? Or was that just sort of luck? <laughs> Partly it was luck. Partly also, I'm of that generation where I'm an old school fan. So, mm. um, the, the black and silver one as a kid watching it and as a teenager um, in Sylvester McCoy's era, um, I absolutely adored it. I'd kind of got a bit, like all teenagers, I kind of got a bit embarrassed by Doctor Who. It, um, there is that as, sort of time uh, in your life. There is. And so being a Doctor Who fan during Colin Baker's second season and Sylvester McCoy's first was tricky. You kind of became yeah. a little bit, you, you played it down at school. You know, you don't play Doctor in distress in the car. Not, not, no, <laughs> not, not loudly. Not loudly. <laughs> to yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah, ab absolutely. But uh, no, so I, I kind of kept quiet about it. And then... McCoy's Dalek story 
arrived on screen and yes. all of a sudden kids at school were going D you know about Doctor Who don't you what's going on in it and you saw Ace hitting that Dalek it was yeah. great that's right yeah and so those people started asking me about it so this one's got a, kind of a, a, a sentimental attachment to it as well because he's the cool one yeah. that I th personally I think for my generation of fans stopped us feeling embarrassed about it we should never have been embarrassed about it in the first place I've, I've come back to uh, McCoy's first season thanks to that Blu-ray set recently oh, of course, and yeah. I absolutely adored it it's, it's really ridiculous and it's fun but it's fun and i think doctor who the biggest crime doctor who or any show can have is being a bit boring or not being fun yeah it could be serious it could be worthy it could be science fiction but to me it should be a bit of a laugh and a bit fun oh absolutely yeah and going back to the um that cool thing it must have been strange because I'm, I'm not to be rude i'm a younger fan <laughs> <laughs> um, but so I grew up with the revival series, so it must have been strange for it to come back and suddenly be quite cool again and be as big as it was. It was very odd. Um, kids at school, because I'm a, a primary school teacher, so children at school had always sort of known I was a Doctor Who fan. Um, there'd be a, a, a yes, can see it. <laughs> a seagull is trying to gate crush the interview on top of the house. It's one of the drawbacks of filming outside on the coast. Um, yeah. We will use our brollies <laughs> in a minute as well, I think. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, being a primary school teacher, the kids knew that I was a Doctor Who fan. There'd be a Dalek on the desk or there'd be references every so often. And they'd say, oh, my, my granny used to watch that show and things like that, which would <laughs> age me horribly. And then, um, then it came back. And what was lovely with that was watching it through children's eyes. Mm. And I think that one of the things that Russell T. Davis did so well was to reintroduce the show as a new show. It didn't pander to fans. I, I loved uh, McGann's um, pilot. Or yeah, what TV it's a strange, it. it's a strange watch, but it is fun. When I watched it with Laura, who had not watched any Doctor Who before, um, McGann comes up and he does a voiceover at the start saying it was on the planet Gallifrey that my old enemy the master and blah, 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 blah. And Laura's going, sorry, can we just stop that? Can we rewind that? <laughs> can you just explain who's the master? What's Gallifrey? What's Scaro? And what are those squeaky things? <laughs> oh, yeah, they're Daleks. You don't see them. And you don't those voices in that TV movie as well are peculiar, aren't they? They are. I, know, I never feel quite so embarrassed being in there and making ridiculous noises every so often <laughs> because they still sound more screen accurate than, than yeah. that. But I, I think it was a rights issue as well, wasn't it? Like Terry Nation was like, no, you don't. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, the Seagull claims that he was out of the, the, the production office that day when they were recording them uh. on one interview I, I <laughs> saw. It in I, I, but I think that's probably just an excuse um, yeah <laughs> but so so what i think russell t davis got just right was that thing of introducing it to a new generation mm. um setting it in a very recognizable set setting for, for kids it wasn't in edwardian england or any of those sorts of things that if i'd been bringing it back that's exactly what i'd have done i'd have mm. had it this this edwardian adventurer and this sort of strange library or something like that almost a, actually like they did with Capaldi's third season of yeah. the, the sort of a professor and discovering it that way but that's not as relatable for small children so what I got the next day after Rose had been broadcast the next Monday morning kids just bursting in school wanting to talk about it really and being terrified of wheelie bins <laughs> oh because um, of Mick yeah <laughs> not, not because Noel Clark was in it <laughs> no, it, it was much more because it, Noel Clark is terrifying absolutely but <laughs> much more because the, the, it, it suddenly taken something ordinary and made it extraordinary and that's what the show i think always does at its best yeah whether it's a shop window dummies whether it's um nurses turning into zygons whether it's whatever it might be mm. it's uh, taking the ordinary and making it something spookier and that's i think the success of things like the daleks when 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 the show first you know when when that was first broadcast in what december 63 all of a sudden my mum my mum remembers this because her birthday's on the 23rd of november Oh, really? But, yeah. <laughs> so it's she, meant to be. That's right. So it's unfortunate. It's the only way I remember my mum's birthday. Ooh. Is, uh, yeah. I'll cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> Probably best. She is aware of this. Oh, good. <laughs> um, but you had kids already going around in the playground, picking up, you know, sink plungers and whisks and things like that, and sticking their arms in front of them and saying they're a Dalek. And it's that easily imitated yeah. that allows children to play. And if you watch all of that first run of Russell T. Davis stuff, kids could imitate all of that. Mm, like the, the stomping of the Cybermen's feet and so on. That's right. They wouldn't necessarily have the fanciest costume, but the movement mm. of it would be there. And the ideas would be there. And, and when later on you get someone like Wilf, for example, firing um, a, a paintball um, at, 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 at a Dalek's <laughs> eye, um, which Rory was watching yesterday because Rory loves old Jack's boat. 
which is if you've not ever seen old jack's boat and don't look puzzled at me on this it's got martha in it it's got wilf in it and it's written by russell t davis how have i only just found okay i know i'm googling when i get home cbbc on the iplayer old jack's boat watch it it's brilliant it's it's a series of stories with bernard cribbins as an old man um (laughs) going onto his boat reminiscing about these these strange things that have happened to him as old jack russell t davis kind of wrote it partly thinking that this could be uh, a, another doctor who's lost his memory <laughs> will so it's wilf as the doctor it's wilf as the doctor and, <laughs> and, and Mar- martha runs the tea shop no, of course because he's Fre- freema's in it you know and, and half the cast are doctor who cast that is so weird I, I need this. <laughs> I need this in my life. And, and, and if, if you get a chance, it's not on the iPlayer at the moment. Um, but the, the Christmas one, the Christmas Quest, is called, which is a very Russell T Davis very, title. Yeah, is heartbreaking. Oh. I gen- genuinely, it's 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 up there with things like the Railway Children and Daddy My Daddy and Good Night Mr Tom, where he comes down on the bicycle and goes, I can ride that. There's a, there's a punchline to that story that is just heartbreaking. And it's on CBBC. It's CBBS. Oh, CBBS. Oh yeah. Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. Now we can say that Doctor Who has crossed everything because they had CBBC with Sarah Jane, BBC with Torchwood and Doctor Who. Now it's a CBBS with what was it? Jack's boat. Old Jack's boat. Old Jack's boat. Yes. So when when I told Rory that Jack was coming today, he got a little bit more excited and was a little oh. disappointed at your age and your lack of Bernard Cribbinsness. Sorry, I'll, I'll try to be Bernard Cribbins next time. I promise. We all try to be Bernard Cribbins. <laughs> we do. We do. Right. Um, so this is a question for you, little Rory. So you don't have to. Wa- don't worry about answering, but uh, <laughs> you, you're hiding, so you can't see this. So hey, Rory, could I ask you a question? Why do you like dressing like the Dalek? Is it super fun? <laughs> He's doing this for reference, which is okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's, only, he's only a month off being free so uh, when when you see the photos of uh, Rory and his outfits they are on for about 30 seconds at a time <laughs> um, if you were for Paw Patrol the community show right now he would be on your lap talking about every dog going in Paw Patrol wow well, yeah as someone who works in the nursery Paw Patrol I, I'm very knowledgeable in just I haven't watched a single episode but I know everything about chase and marshall and rocky and uh, <laughs> his, his other cosplay favorite for a little while was dillis price from fireman sam where he'd have a knotted handkerchief on his head and just go norman <laughs> very loudly <laughs> now we that see one. that's what i need i need to make fireman sam the community show and then we'll do it that way absolutely right so uh <laughs> um <laughs> No, oh, this was another one for Rory, but I'll, I'll skip that for now. <laughs> we'll, say, we, we'll, we'll get in the right mood in a few minutes. We will. It's, 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 it's. So, I feel like mentioning, and I'm going to be careful with how I say it, it about the true fan incident. Ah, I yes. feel like I need to bring it up, because that's how a lot of people came to sort of know your, your these posts. So, now we're a long way away from that whole fiasco. Sort of, what was your initial reaction to it? It was, it was vague amusement, actually, because... Um, it's the sort of thing that if Twitter had been around when I was a teenager, I fear I would have probably felt the same. I might not have articulated it, but I'd have probably felt the same way. Mm. Because some people take the show very, very seriously. And the problem with a show that's been going for close to 60 years now is that for every generation joining the show, it means something different to them. Yeah. If you join the show in the early 80s, and the, the, the next fan generation after me were, where it's proper science fiction, and you know, and, and it's not been the same since uh, you know Christopher Bidmead and, and the others left. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's it's a farce now and a pantomime, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. Um, they 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 are naturally embarrassed by it. Um, it, it. I thought it was unnecessary to uh, contact me personally about it. I thought that was. Uh, I, there are for everybody who. But you have to remember that if you work on the third's principle with Twitter or with anything actually in life, a third of people will quite like what you do. Mm. A third of people will be indifferent and a third of people might actively dislike you for what you're doing. Yep. And so <laughs> if you work on the third's principle and you get any more than a third liking what you're doing, great. Mm. Um, so over the years uh, and, and in, in the jobs I've done and <laughs> I worked in retail, so you, you get feedback in retail. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> retail is um, like it's a. St- I feel like everyone should do retail at some point just to see oh, I, the worst. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you know, like like people used to have to go to, into the army or the navy or the air force for a year. I think if everybody worked in retail, they'd have a little bit more respect <laughs> for the work that people in shops do because it's the hardest job I've ever done. And you'd always get negative feedback about stuff, <laughs> and then most of the time it wasn't your fault. So when you get something like this, which is criticising at the time an eighteen months two year old for holding a plunger in. Oh, I'm, I wouldn't mind, but it wasn't even a plunger. It was uh, it was our toilet brush, which my wife's still not forgiven me for, um, <laughs> and uh, and a whisk. Um, so, but what did surprise me and what uh, delighted me and baffled me really was that I posted this up at about half seven in the morning in the in, in, in my staff car park. When they come under um, b- before uh, <laughs> before my day's work, and uh, I don't I don't. I can't go to daddy. <laughs> You're trying to give him a cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. He's trying to exterminate you. Oh, okay. oh, fair enough. You got me. Oh. <laughs> are you going to? Are you going to use your sink plunger and whisk on Jack? You nearly got me. You nearly got me, Rory. <laughs> oh, bless him. He is a, he's adorable. <laughs> yeah, th- 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 there are times. Fortunately, yeah. <laughs> there are times where he is a toddler, and um, even the Daleks retreat. I, I, I've, I've seen our, our Colin just take a few steps back every so often. <laughs> just go, keep back. This, this is unwise. <laughs> um, so no, going, going back to uh, the, 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 the the Twitter uh, ridiculousness. Really, um, I posted this up in the morning, just thinking that the five or six people who often comment on these things would go oh yeah that is a bit silly isn't it what i didn't expect was when i checked at about five o'clock that afternoon and not only had i got quite a few comments underneath it from neil gaiman and mallory blackman and all these people that i admire yeah um both, both as, a, as as writers but as human beings as well and and, and the things that they, they they say and do um but i'd got these comments from uh, dms from the metro and the independent there's a lot of articles about there, there were a, they were a surprising number of articles and what i what what i was really delighted they all focused on was what it was really all about which is the huge and overwhelming positivity of Doctor Who fans. So we had one, one comment that I'd posted up, and from that, we got something like four and a half million um, impressions on that 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 tweet. <laughs> which, for a little account like mine, which had a sort of a, a couple of hundred followers, um, half of which are relatives yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and, and friends who are humouring me, um, it was absolutely astonishing. Um, and it went on for days afterwards as well. And. Mountain Warehouse sent us a pair of wellies and a hardware shop in Leeds sent us a sink plunger. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of like that level of sponsorship. It's, not like, it's, not, it's, it's not like character options sending us all the toys and him having to be forced to open them and go, oh, what a surprise, <laughs> um, which some children do, and that's delightful. Um, this was very um, very much more domestic. We needed- that, it's so specific. You couldn't do this again. It's- no, no, no. And that's the thing. It's, it's capturing lightning in a bottle. And uh, so we just continue with the account as it is and on days where, he is wanting to wear a costume or like with, with the Cyberman helmet where um, I had my, my screen accurate, it's, it, it's, it's not a toy, it's a prop um, Cyberman helmet which my wife very kindly bought for me for my birthday. It is good, I'll, I'll get a picture up of it because it's staring me out from the table over there. But we actually had far, just as much joy making Rory's one out of a cardboard box. Yeah. A cake box. We got to eat the cake, and then he got to have a Cyberman helmet. So I'm wondering what the best of the, of the options are. You either get the Cyberman helmet or you eat the cake. Wh- which was the better one? I'll be honest. The cake was fabulous. Well, there we go. Um, Good to see Marks and Spencers. If anyone send us any more. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We figured out the reason I've been invited. It's to get more sponsors. All right, I've got to reach for my phone because it fell down at some point. There we go. So I've got a few pictures downloaded because I was, I, was, I was scrolling through your Twitter just sort of ahead of the interview because there, there is a lot there. You post quite a lot these days, which is great. Uh, so I've got a few oh, and I'd just love to hear the story behind it, essentially. Okay. I will flash them up again on screen. So first of all, this one caught my eye. Ah, oh, yes, that, that was... He was about... Uh a week old at that point. <laughs> that was, uh, it's, it's the one where he's changing the nappy for reference. Yes. 
<laughs> Good old Colin. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> that, that was that was almost pre Twitter for us. Um, oh, right. So it, I, I've, I've kind of retrospectively posted that one up there. Um, and yes, that, that that was more to my mum and uh, Laura's mum were sort of worried. You know, how how will we cope? Um, I I ducked out for the first week of Rory's um, time at home by getting bronchial pneumonia and. Uh, hmm. And, and really just to get the attention back on me more than anything else. <laughs> um, and and uh, so that, that, so my mum was like, oh, are you all coping? Are you all fine? So I did that photo and went, yeah, we've got, we've got, we've got spare pair of hands. Lend, you know, lending so that was just sent to a relative. So that, that, was sent to, that was sent to my mum and to, to, to Laura's mum at the time. And um, the response and, was? <laughs> Oh, right, yes. I mean, my, my, my in-laws are, are, have kind of a, a accepted Colin now, but it was... It was part very of the family. Part of the family, but <laughs> prior to the wedding, when we were talking about getting Colin to the wedding, and, and we were saying, we're going to need to get him... He's quite big, he's bigger than we thought he was. And my father-in-law hadn't quite tweaked that we were talking about the Dalek. So he was going, oh, God, Colin's quite, quite, quite a large gentleman, and clearly, I don't think I've met him. Can't then, say that, that's so rude. Then, then we started talking... Fuck your ears, Colin. Then we started talking about sort of the, the need for disabled access to get him up the ramps and stuff like that, oh, and yeah. we're going, oh, okay, so he's, 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 yeah, okay, so he's picturing this, this, this enormous man. When we said we were then hire, hiring a lorry to get him in, in the back of, to bring him um, to and the And at wedding. no point beforehand did you mention it was a Dalek? No, no, I, 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 I mean, he was aware that this, this prop was arriving at some point, but hadn't made the connection with Colin, because we just talked about as part of the family, he'd been with us for a couple of weeks already. <laughs> so uh, yeah, no, they, they, that that then featured quite heavily in uh, my my father-in-law's uh, wedding speech <laughs> <laughs> story about Colin. <laughs> and I suppose on on the same topic, oh, I scroll back to something completely different. Uh, oh, did I not save it in the end? I did. I re I thought I was I was going to save the one of <laughs> of the dance, the the, the my favourite thing, the one of uh, you dancing with the Dalek. Yeah, my, my Which is my favourite thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come and join us? <laughs> there is a space where Rory was going to be. That is, I'm probably just going to put a picture we of Rory. Oh, you can talk off screen. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> It just it just made me giggle because I mean I, I you know I I scroll through the feed every once in a while and I'm going through and the, the first thing I'm like oh I should check in the feed see what's there the first thing I see is you like woo with the darling it was my wedding day <laughs> so how'd that go uh, well it was terrifying at first because I genuinely thought that my friends had wheeled the Dalek onto the uh, dance floor and that Andy would be really angry about it but as it was it turned out he was inside and I thought well why not just go with it it was great it was my wedding why not and the pictures that came out were pretty great <laughs> They are some of my favourite things. <laughs> and again, like my gem, I love her to pieces. She loves me. I've got her into the show, much like uh, the pair of you have. But, all right. But <laughs> I've said to her, so um, can, we, can we, for the wedding, just, you know, in the future? And she's just like, nah. <laughs> it's like, how dare you? I know, a, I know a friend in Worthing who has one. <laughs> I can say just, just drop us a line on the date <laughs> and the venue. And we'll just wheel him past. Just that, that vital moment, if you've got windows behind you. Jen, plug your ears. <laughs> I'm making plans. I love how there's just a massive gap here. I, yeah, I, I suppose I could just Rory use it. Rory was going to be sick. Yeah, I'll just put a picture of Rory there, just in spirit. Right, my, um, this one I'd love to mention. That was, that was brilliant, that was. Yeah. That, uh, Millie, Millie I'd, I'd come across Millie through, both through Twitter and through that, that rather lovely uh, article in Doctor Who magazine. Um, oh, a couple yeah. of months back and Rory had been flicking through that one he picks up my magazine every so often and goes why is Colin in here and why is mummy in here and why am I in here and it, it turns out the ones he picked up Laura really was in there um, it was I think for our first wedding anniversary I'd sent the picture of uh, uh, Laura and, uh, and, and Colin dancing and that, that appeared and then one of him uh, yeah. had, had appeared and then one where Colin's gone rogue and gone solo and, and he appeared <laughs> in a reading magazine a couple of months back anyway Rory was flicking through it Ooh, and just um, what have you got for me oh thank you what's this a cup of tea yeah oh, I can't really to make it oh thank you so much darling oh he's lovely he's being extra nice the second I leave or the second the camera goes off he's going to be like I want to play <laughs> yeah absolutely oh hang on he's going to he's going to pour his, his, his pour his oh I see it's tea. nothing in there yet do you want to come and pour no, me you some made tea? Look ridiculous. I, th I feel foolish now. How did I not know this was an imaginary empty cup of tea? Oh, oh. <laughs> Kevin of the Electric. Oh, thank you, my dear. Is this drinking water? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> Cheers, darling. It sometimes does get scooped. <laughs> I was making sure it wasn't a puddle. I'd love some as well. Come around here, then. Come around the other way. Oh, don't worry, you won't trip on it. Come around. 
That's it. You sit there for me. I'll have a cup. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you having a cup as well? Uh, <laughs> Steve Luke Newman didn't oh, treat me this oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for watching my shoes as well. Oh, good. <laughs> see you up there? Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, Rory, nice of you to join us. Oh, where's my sieve? Hold on. You're wearing yours. There we go. Daleks United. We're going to take over the world, aren't we, Rory? It's one of the very few times that I'm not the one that looks ridiculous. It's brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm here for. <laughs> right, what else have I got saved on here for you? But yeah, no, I'm really surprised. Like, yes. The quality of it is very I'm good. I was absolutely blown away by it. So yeah, Rory had been looking for the magazine. Absolutely loved them. You've seen that, haven't you, Rory? Who's that? Yeah. Is that you? It's me. It's yeah. you. And then, yes, um, Millie had been posting on Twitter, sort of going, oh, what, what should my next one be? And she'd done a, a gorgeous um, Japanese Dalek from the... Um, there you go. Do you want to look at it? Am I going to hold it? Who is it? <laughs> me. It's, it's you. It? I, we we cool. know who has that now, don't we? Oh, who has it? My, my sister has that. My oh, sister, really? it turns out, lives about two miles from Millie in New Zealand. I mean, I knew my sister lived in New Zealand. This that, wasn't but, a yeah. <laughs> um, but, um What a coincidence. Yes, it was rather lovely. So, so Millie had, uh, had posted this up. Getting attacked by the seeds of death behind you. Absolutely. Utterly to our surprise, because I'd, I'd post up flippantly, going, oh, you, you've got all these different ones, and you know, where, where's, where's the Rory Dalek? And uh, she then crafted that, and the detail. And you can't... I, I think the, the photos... Do you like a cup, darling? I think are gorgeous. Oh, I wanted my own. Your own cup? You've got yours here, haven't you? Is this your one? With a saucer? Would you, like, would you like a cup of tea? Mm -mm. There we go. <laughs> There's your cup of tea. That's very hot water. It is. You have to be very careful with hot water, don't you? You try it. Have it take a sip. <laughs> How is it? Is it delicious? Yes. Good. You know, they say never work with uh, children or animals, but it's going pretty well so far. Can I have some squash? Some squash, yes. You've got some squash here, haven't you? There you go. Thank you. You're very oh, welcome. Good manners. My lot don't know manners at the nursery. They're just like, give me food. <laughs> We're like, no, you've got to say please and thank you, darling. You, you wait till the camera's turned off. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> there is just this inherent no, like they know somehow that they're, they're being good. But this no, was my also my favourite that I needed to bring up. <laughs> what? So what's the story there? <laughs> That that's that's actually a screenshot from a, a Christmas video. We uh, <laughs> we we unfortunately um, just in the run up to Christmas this year, like a lot of families, we were hit by COVID, and uh, my Rory got it first. My wife got it, and I got it. And oh, you all got it. Oh yeah, oh, and, and 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 it it, it, it wasn't fun. Um, I, I talked earlier about having bronchial pneumonia, and I'd argued this wasn't as much fun as that. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. that wasn't fun. So. Yeah, um, Rory. But we're very lucky that we made a, a, a good, good recovery just before Christmas. And I thought, oh, I, I, mm. we'll, we'll do a little video then um, for sort of friends and family of uh, him. So, you see my helmet? I yeah. like your helmet. It's 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 yours is more accurate because it's the same colour as Colin, isn't it? <laughs> do you know the words exiting my mouth? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> See, without the context of the Dalek costume, it does look like you're a chef it getting does, ready to prepare a meal. We have your chef's hat somewhere, don't we? Yeah. Well. But yes, you can whisk something up for us, can't you? So no, going back to that that photo, that was uh, that was Rory and I uh, one morning thinking, oh, we'll we'll make a little pop video for uh, I want to spend my Christmas with a Dalek. <laughs> and then we realised that we couldn't actually get Colin out of the conservatory, so strategically there's a shot in it for anyone who's watched the video and it's on on my twitter feed somewhere um down there um of him in the lounge and that's only his top bit his dome <laughs> perched on a behind the scenes secrets perched on a pile of books <laughs> with a camera angle like that <laughs> and then of course for, for uh, rory they went oh, we, we should take him up to our, up to the bedroom daddy so i, I he, as one would so, say so he, he did the filming of that little bit so oh, really I, if you had the version without the the, the music on it you're just hearing giggling <laughs> he, he, had, he, had, he had a go at filming me as a Cyberman the other day, didn't you? Which um, I'll I'll send you the clip for, so you can you can play it on this. Yes, it's not please. been seen anywhere else. So oh, you can have an exclusive. An exclusive, that. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, which is as ridiculous as it sounds, because I was basically trying to show him. Go, no, I, what you need to do is stand behind there and then move to here, and and so he was filming that. And then when it came to putting it on him, it lasted about two seconds because we were trying to be screen accurate. We'd even gone to the location of Silver Nemesis oh, really? for that one. 
Because that, that tower in the background is the one that was used. That's yeah. brilliant. Oh, no, this, this whole area is full of them. We've got the, the pub from the um, Terror of the Zygons um, oh. up near Chichester. See, very, I very don't much. get any of that where, around where I am. No, no, we, we've got that. I haven't got any quarries. We've also got a, a secret Nazi villa on the seafront here in Worthing. Um, which was used in Silver Nemesis. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to, trying to place I that. thought you were just going to stop there. No, 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 no. I mean, we, we, we might have secret Nazis. I mean, they, they, it, is a, it is a home for retired people, but most of them went to South America, so I think we're probably oh, good. okay. We're safe. Yeah, we're As all right. Rory just <laughs> eats right. his Cheerios. <laughs> yeah. Oh. They looked it. No, oh, no, it's right still there. going. Still okay. going. There is it, still might, it might be the, the um, film duration length. Yeah. Because the file sizes get too big. Yeah, you see, I don't know that. I don't often record for this long. <laughs> no, it's this is great. Hey, Rory. Rory. Joining ah. us on the sofa. Oh, bless. <laughs> I must stop calling you directly by name. That seems to, to, to catch you out. You want to be, remain anonymous, don't you? Also, we're all wearing sort of team colours with the jeans here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm glad you got the memo. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a dress code for the Dobson household. Absolutely. <laughs> I keep forgetting what's behind me. And then I, like, turn and I see a plunger or a whisk and I panic. Now, here's... Okay, before, before it does actually fill up, I will ask, can I get in it? Of course. Yes. It is, it is a toy, not a screen accurate prop. <laughs> yeah, because some people do that, don't they? They just they keep it on a shelf, oh, yeah, I mean, and they like can't touch that. To, to be fair, my Cyberman helmet is one of those, which is why we had to build his. Well, you do uh, have to own, unscrew own, to get in, from what own, I've seen. Yes, and it, it is hideously claustrophobic. The idea of just sort of having uh, yeah. the back screwed in. Also, you've got to trust your wife, and I do wholeheartedly. But there, there, there that's a be, bold thing there, to start there, saying. There, 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 will, there will be moments where she'll just go. No, I'm going to leave him in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd have to go to the shops and, or worse, go to school teaching. <laughs> I mean, it would make for an interesting lesson today. We are excellent. Absolutely. That'd be no, good for marking. Not. Just everyone's excellent. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 I'm very disappointed they don't have a little stamp. Like the Cyberman <laughs> stamp. It would save me hours of marking if I could just put it in this and it had a little Cyberman hat. Someone get on that. I'm yeah. sure someone watching yeah. can do stamps. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> That's a specific niche. Right, I am yeah, itching. No, I, I, I'd have excellent and delete. That. Get in. I'm, Go I've got to do it. 